is een doodvond. Ze dus doen maar net als je doodvond. En laatste je toch gewoon weer de kans dat je gedood wordt. Het is niet zo, de tekst en woorden. En de zaken nog eens door die je woorden moorden. I'm Jim Tucker, I've chased Silver Bird for 30 years, and I'll never give up the chase. Silver Bird, plan for the whole world, is nothing less than world government. And, and this is a conspiracy, because every year they meet in secret, The press never reports on it, even though people like Catherine Grain, the longtime publisher, uh, owner of the Washington Post, uh, has been to almost all the meetings, uh, even though uh, representatives of the New York Times have been to all the meetings, uh, the Wall Street Journal, uh, and, and, the, and the other top newspapers in Europe and Japan as well. And there is an absolute news blackout. There is never anything reported in any of those papers. Jim Tucker, Jim Tucker, AmericanFreePress.net, formerly the Spotlight. We heard that they were, uh, that, that, that really a week and a half ago that Bilderberg met in uh, Athens, outside Athens, Greece. You said you didn't believe that. Uh, Greek paper reported it, Bilderberg.org reported it, Tony Gosling. Then uh, we had the major Dutch news report they were going to be meeting the 5th through the 8th in Chantilly, as they met a few years ago in Virginia. Uh, tell us what you think is really happening, Jim Tucker. Well, this one is right. It's uh, Chantilly. Uh, yes, uh, somebody gave us that Dutch email, too, and I called the uh, uh, Dutch uh, embassy. Well, in fact, the number they provided called got me to, into uh, the Netherlands, but they transferred me back. Still no charge on the phone. That's it. To, I'm going uh, to Virginia. The United States. And <laughs> they, they confirmed, yes, I could, uh, asked the question twice to make sure I got it right. Yes, they will be at Chantilly. And of course, it will be the Westfields Marriott. They didn't have the specific address in Chantilly. But it's where they met before. The only place they can meet in Chantilly was where they met several years ago, Westfields. And Westfields is all booked up. And also, uh, a man who for 20 years has helped is within, inside Bilderberg pin them down, give it further confirmation that we'll be at uh, the uh, uh, Westfields Marriott Conference Center, 14750. We'll have this on our website, Conference Drive, Conference Center Drive, Chantilly, Virginia. Uh, got their telephone number. So this uh, isn't even out yet. This is huge breaking news. The conspiracist's view of the world is that control is exerted through the control of money. In this country, we operate under the golden rule. Whoever has the gold makes the rules. Whether or not this type of nefarious global control exists, it is true that the Bilderbergers have been successful in at least controlling media coverage of their meetings. Leading media moguls are always invited to Bilderberg conferences, but only under the strict understanding that they will not report on what they hear. So, for instance, Catherine Graham of the Washington Post has been to many Bilderberg meetings. One of the inner core Bilderberg members is Conrad Black, who owns 68% of newspapers in Canada, Telegraph newspapers in Britain, the Jerusalem Post, and a stream of newspapers worldwide. Um, not one word has appeared in his newspapers about the Bilderberg group. The steering committees and the bureaucracies and the meetings themselves had their own concern rather intense concern with not being mentioned in the press and, and, and had this brilliant idea of, of co-opting whatever press they did invite and then going higher and higher in the press as they invited it. But it's quite something to have more than a hundred people um, attend a meeting one weekend a year, all of them at least of some importance and have nothing in the mainstream press about them. That's quite remarkable, I guess, in a way maybe the most remarkable thing about them.
Years before the Congressional Committee to tell what I knew of activity, which might lead to an attempt to set up a fascist dictatorship. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. President Bush signed a formal agreement that will end the United States as we know it. And he took the step without approval from either the U.S. Congress or the people of the United States. The secret organizations of the world power elite are no longer secret. It's known as the Bilderberg Group. Could their objective be world domination? I'm Jim Tucker. I've chased Bilderberg for 30 years. I'll never give up the chase. Bilderberg plan for the whole world is nothing less than world government. I'm not comfortable with that at all. Who elected these guys to run the planet? They are the elitist. They feel they should run the world for their own selfish interests. Now we can see a new world coming into view. A world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. Bilderberg is making great progress toward a world government and only an educated informed public can stop them in their tracks. David Rockefeller admits in his own memoirs that he wants to destroy the United States. Right. He's a traitor! It's good to be back at the Council on Foreign Relations. As uh, Pete mentioned, I've been a member for a long time and was actually a director for some period of time. I never mentioned that when I was campaigning for re-election back home in Wyoming. <laughs> Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories. I need you to move off the property, please. Some shots were fired. There's Bilderbergers right there. Where the science of tyranny is law. A worldwide control grid designed to ensure the overlord's monopoly of power forever. Our species will be condemned to this nightmare future unless the masses are awakened to the New World Order master plan and mobilized to defeat it. Erected by a secretive group, the Georgia Guidestones are a testament to the elite's plan for a world religion, global laws, with a global court and army to enforce it and set in stone it is written that the population never rise above 500 million. Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands, whose father, Prince Bernhard, founded Bilderberg, is a leading figure in the group. Of course, globalist kingpin David Rockefeller, seen here with his bodyguard, James Ford, always attends. New World Order engineers have hijacked human destiny. His controllers have closely studied human behavior for more than a hundred years and are now steering us with expert control, using our primitive drives and desires as levers. They have developed their mind control systems to the point of being able to control the average unconscious person like a car. We're